all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we have a golden state warriors video i am 100 percent convinced regardless this team is making the western conference finals in fact i think if you had to ask me right now the golden state warriors will win the nba finals but it's only been two games granted you are playing the denver nuggets without michael porter jr without jamal murray Nikola Jokic really can only do so much and uh, it's actually it's a little unfortunate that like they're kind of getting exposed right now because of how good the defense is from Golden State how good the offense is from Golden State outside of Jokic there really has been absolutely nothing for Denver so welcome back to the channel man if you're new here hit the like button hit that sub button we're trying to hit 15,000 subs here by the end of the playoffs my initial prediction was Golden State in five if you have Steph Curry coming off of the bench playing 23 minutes, scoring 34 points for a team high plus 32, 5 of 10 from downtown, you're going to sweep the series. Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, they have been playing absolutely out of their mind. And then you have a good contribution from Klay Thompson. You have a good contribution from Draymond Green. You've got bench pieces like the Elitza who gave you 10 on 5 of 6 shooting tonight. you got guys like Otto Porter Jr., uh, Gary Payton the second. Uh, no Andre Iguodala tonight, DNP coach's decision, which is kind of interesting since we're in the playoffs. I was kind of expecting a little bit more Andre Iguodala. He only played like 14 or so minutes in the first game. But Golden State, man, they're, they're really going on all cylinders. And this is a team who, if you didn't know, they had the number one ranked defense before Draymond Green got injured once Draymond Green got injured for about two and a half months from like January to about mid-March their defense fell just a little bit it was just a little bit and they actually ended up ending the season as the number one ranked defensive squad so Golden State right now uh, the good news for them is currently you are about to play Memphis or Minnesota if you end up winning this seven game series against Denver and well, Minnesota upset the Memphis Grizzlies in the first game. So unless Memphis rattles off the next four victories, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about uh, Golden State's chances at making a deep run. But I want to talk about Jordan Poole. Obviously, Steph Curry was kind of the man of the hour tonight playing literally, like I said, 23 minutes, 34 points, plus 32. He shot 12 of 17 from the field, 5 of 10 from downtown. Anytime I saw Steph Curry on the court tonight, it felt like he was either smiling or just drained a shot, and it was absolutely electric to watch. But Jordan Poole really has been an absolute certified stud. Dropped 30 in his first career NBA playoff game, technically, and then tonight, 29 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists, 10 of 16 from the field, 5 of 10 from downtown. So we've heard the, the comparison Splash Brother 2.0. We've heard, you know, the next Steph Curry, whatever you want to call it, Jordan Poole. Um, at this point in his young career, it's pretty crazy to even think about the fact that he was in the G League last season. Jordan Poole was in the G League last season. Absolutely mind-blowing tonight, 29 points, and uh, he continues his domination. If you have Jordan Poole playing the way he is playing right now, it's absolute money. I mean, you're going to make the Western Conference Finals here. My thing is, though, once Steph Curry, I was actually really surprised Steph Curry came off the bench again tonight, but looks like he's still kind of on a minute restriction, if you really want to call it a minute restriction. I feel like it's more so because they're playing the Denver Nuggets in round one. You don't necessarily need Steph Curry to play more than 23, 24, 25 minutes a night. You only play 23 minutes tonight. Um, when you're getting good contribution from guys like Jordan Poole, guys like Clay Thompson, who dropped 21 points tonight on three of eight from downtown, you got 13 from Mr. Efficiency, Andrew Wiggins. Good defense from Draymond Green guarding Nikola Jokic with Kevon Looney. Like, you're sitting pretty. And 126 to 106 was tonight's score. Um, you know, you're up 2 0. Uh, you just finished your series against Denver at home. You're going to Denver now. All right, you're going to Denver now. You're up 2 0. Steph Curry, most likely game three, is going to be in the starting lineup. I'm actually more of a fan of Jordan Poole coming off of the bench because I feel like it gives him more more free reign um you know he's played well with clay thompson he played well with draymond you know andrew wiggins etc but when jordan Poole comes off of the bench i feel like there's like this less 
like I don't even know if pressure is the right word, but there's just more of an opportunity to have the ball in your hand. There's more of an opportunity to kind of showcase yourself and essentially just have free reign. Like you're the bench guy, you're on the bench for a reason. You're clearly the sixth man. You're clearly, you know, a most improved candidate, although technically you're not a top three most improved candidate, which makes absolutely no sense. But Golden State tonight, man, we saw kind of like a similar third quarter run scoring 44 points as we did several seasons ago when Golden State was getting, you know, kind of at the peak of their dynasty, if you will. And this team's looking really sound offensively and defensively. You pretty much had two straight games where you have essentially a 20-point victory. You only give up barely a little over than 100 points, and you have multiple guys going on all cylinders. The bench has yet to really be needed. Obviously, you know, if you have 34 from Steph off the bench, that definitely helps. But guys like Belitza played 16 minutes tonight. They give you 10 points. Uh, Otto Porter Jr. didn't have a great offensive night tonight. Damian Lee. Gary Payton, they didn't play too much, but they didn't score too much, so it was nice to have Steph Curry and Belitza off of the bench, but it's really looking like Golden State's going to take care of this series in about like four to five games at the absolute max, I would say five games, so looking poised to play Minnesota or Memphis, and like I said, the way game one went, I mean, you got to be kind of licking your chops at that. Phoenix game one against New Orleans, they got off to like a really nice lead there, I think I believe they had like a 30 point lead at one point in the game, but then kind of blow it, um, kind of got back to a single digit game, but uh, for the most part, they kind of controlled the entirety. So if I had to bet money on it, I'm looking at a Phoenix Golden State uh, Western Conference Finals, which if I were, if I walked up to you, if you're a basketball fan and I walked up to you first or second week of the season, I was like, who do you have in the Western Conference Finals? there's a really solid chance you would have put the Golden State Warriors with the Phoenix Suns. So both teams fully healthy, very fun to watch, and uh, we'll kind of see how the rest of these two playoff series go about. More importantly, the Memphis versus uh, Timberwolves series, but I guess really when it boils down to is the most important series, the series at hand here. You're up 2-0. But it's a very nice 2-0, and um, I don't, you know, Jokic, he, he just can't do it all. Like, he, he can't do it all, man. So hit the like button, hit that sub button for more Warriors and NBA content, and uh, drop some comments down below. Where do you see the Golden State Warriors finishing this season? Peace.